All right, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the top five iPhones that are under $200 for the year of 2023. Now, these iPhones are going to range in quite a bit of prices, to be honest, but I will say any iPhone that is below or not supported currently with software, I probably wouldn't recommend getting. The iPhone 6S and iPhone 7, those are like emergency devices. Like if you have no other phones around you, you can use an iPhone 6S or a 7 or below, 7 plus included. But if you do have a little bit of money, then you can still pull up with a really decent phone for the most part. Now, the first iPhone I think I would throw under that $200 price tag would probably be the iPhone XS. I think this is an iPhone that you could probably buy in varying levels of condition for about $180 to about $200 right on the dot. Again, if you're getting them in the highest maximum, you know, gigabyte capacity and you're getting them in like perfect condition, clearly it's not going to be perfect. But I've seen lots of iPhone XS's go for around $180. Here's one for $187, $175. So this is still a very good iPhone, $200 right on the dot. Like these are very good iPhones that still have a lot of capacity, a lot of capacity, a lot of capability. And again, this is an A12 Bionic chip, four gigabytes of RAM, same amount of RAM as like an iPhone 13, which is pretty interesting. And I think these things are still very capable. So if you were to go and get an iPhone for about that, you know, for that max $200 price, I think an iPhone XS is probably the better way to go. The iPhone XR and the iPhone X, I kind of have tied. They're around the same price tag, but they're very interesting phones because on one hand, the iPhone XR is newer than the iPhone X. It has a newer chipset. It's faster, has better battery life than the iPhone X, and it's going to last longer than the iPhone X. However, the iPhone X was a $1,000 phone when it first came out. It was like the most expensive phone when it first came out too, or something very, very close to that. It has an amazing display, better display than the iPhone XR, great build quality. Performance is still pretty decent for the most part, but that's why I always felt like these two phones were just like neck and neck. You can kind of interchange one over the other, but there's going to be a time where the iPhone XI is no longer worth it and the iPhone XR is still worth buying, and that time could end up happening very soon. Now, another iPhone I would probably throw in the mix here as well. There's two of them, and these two phones I would not recommend really buying brand new if you can avoid them, but these two iPhones are the iPhone SE 3rd generation and the iPhone SE 2nd generation. So with the iPhone SE 3rd gen, this is a $429 iPhone right now, but you might be able to buy them for the most part in the used market for less than $200 if you're lucky. So these things are a little bit harder to come by, but within an iPhone SE 3 in the used market, here's an iPhone SE 3rd generation for $174 I'm looking at right now. And even here's one for $154, the you know second gen, but whatever. Basically these iPhones, the third gen has that Apple A15 bonding chip inside of it, has a ton of RAM for the most part. It doesn't need, really need a lot of RAM to even run. And that's a very capable phone right there. With an iPhone SE 2, has that A13 bonding chip, still very capable, still a very, very good phone as well. But I'm still a massive fan of the iPhone SE 2 for the most part in the used market. And I'm a fan of the iPhone SE 3 in the used market. I'm just not a fan of either one of these phones in the brand new market because they're just way too costly. So those are probably some of the, if not the top five best, cheapest iPhones you can probably buy in 2023 under $200. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.